Hey everybody, Sue and Amy here, and today we are grilling salsa. So we've got some tomatillos, some jalapenos, onions, lime, garlic on the grill. We're gonna make some air fryer flautas. First up, we're gonna put our tomatillos on the grill. There's no oil or anything on them. We're trying to make this a fairly low fat salsa, which, I mean, low fat generally salsa, salsa is. is but anyway, <laughs> um, this one's gonna be super low in fat. <laughs> and the onions, again, nothing on them either. So we've got everything on the grill. We've got our garlic, onions, tomatillos, jalapenos, and our limes. We like to grill the limes because it brings out a special sweetness in them that's really good. It gets a little caramelized on the ends. So we're just gonna be rotating everything around on the grill to get charred on all sides. And by the way, if you've never had white onions on the grill, they're delicious, just as they are. So yummy, you've gotta try it. Look at those juices. Yum. Okay, so we're just pulling some things off of the grill that are, are done already. It's taking about five minutes, and I tell you what, it's a good thing we don't have gin in the house, because I would have a grilled lime and gin and tonic tonight. <laughs> So we got everything off and check out the char on these jalapenos. And for anybody who's a new griller out there, it's a great idea that once, once you're done grilling and your grill's still hot, to go ahead and wipe it down real quick with one of these uh, grill brushes. Just gets the food off easier and it makes it nice the next time you come along. Okay, now for the hard part. Not really, this is so easy. Just dump your tomatillos in. Onions. Garlic. Garlic. Our Peppers. jalapenos. We gotta cut the stems off that first. We got our tomatillos, our onions, adding our jalapenos, that grilled lime juice. <laughs> Yum, I'm gonna have a gin tonic, I know it. <laughs> <laughs> Cilantro for okay. freshness. And then, boom. We've got this all cuisinarded up. Now we've gotta taste it, because we haven't had any salt or, or spices mm. yet, just to see how it is and see what it needs. Oh my goodness, it's delicious. It needs cumin. Mm. We're gonna put some cumin in. Some salt, we'll be right back. So we went ahead and added some salt and cumin. And a little more lime juice. A little more lime juice, and we're just gonna blend this up. And by the way, if you don't have a, um, a food processor, you could totally put this in a blender. It'd be just as easy. So we tasted it again, and we added just a little bit more cumin and some more salt. And we're gonna add just a teaspoon of red wine vinegar just to kind of cut a little bit of the sweetness from the lime. They get super sweet when they're on the grill, but they're so delicious with that char. I want a gin and tonic. <laughs> <laughs> Here's our finished grilled salsa. So yummy. And the great thing about the salsa is that you get that freshness that salsa has, but you get that intense flavor from the grill and that like touch of sweetness from those limes that we also grilled for my gin and tonic. <laughs> <laughs> so the other day we grilled some extra chicken breasts, so we have leftovers. And today we're gonna go ahead and shred that. Look how easy it is to shred. And that's gonna be the basis for our flautas. We get started making our flautas. First of all, we're gonna use our, our tomatillo salsa, this wonderful grilled chicken. We're gonna put it into a corn tortilla and a flour tortilla and air fry it and try to cut out the calories. First thing we're gonna do with our flautas is we've got a corn tortilla and a flour tortilla and some of that shredded grilled chicken. I'm gonna put a little bit of our tomatillo salsa and roll it up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we've got our flautas rolled up and we're just gonna spray them lightly with some cooking spray just so that they crisp up in the air fryer and um, get nice and crunchy just like they would if you were deep frying them. And meanwhile, our air fryer is heating up. And we're adding a toothpick because we're not using those oils that would glue it all together. <laughs> okay, so we lightly sprayed with cooking spray the inside of the air fryer, and we're just gonna place our flautas in here. We've never done this before, so we're- That's why we're just doing two. Testing it out. So we're gonna put it in there. Minutes. Just pulled them out of the air fryer. We might have left them in there a teensy bit too long. They're nice and crunchy though. They're crunchy. Ooh, they're hot. <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> <laughs> Yum. Look pretty good. I'm gonna taste it. It's crunchy. Very hot. We're gonna do round two this time. And instead of using the green salsa, which was wonderful, we're gonna try to use a red salsa, just a store-bought red salsa, with the same chicken and flour and corn tortillas. And this time I'm going to let my mom wait a little bit before she takes a bite. <laughs> <laughs> Tongue's still burning. <laughs> So we finished our round two of our flautas, and they're excellent, and we actually like the red store-bought salsa the best. 
Um, the corn tortillas needed a little bit more time, so we're gonna add on a little bit more time for them in the next round. And we're also gonna add some sides and some toppings. So this is our third try at our flautas, and last time it was delicious, but this time we wanna try it with some cheese. So we have done, We first we dried the corn tortillas out, and we added the chicken and the red salsa, and now we're adding cheese to each one. Just a little bit. So we're just rolling them up just like we did the last ones, and we're gonna secure it with one toothpick just to make sure they don't come apart before they get air fried. And we sprayed the outside with some cooking spray. So we'll let you know how they turn out. Crisp them up. Okay, so they just finished, so we're just gonna let them cool for a little bit this time. Seven minutes is all it took. And they're nice and crunchy. Check that out. Ooh, look Yum. at that. Ooh, this is gonna be good, that melty cheese. Yummy. Okay, so this is our fourth attempt at flautas and we have perfected it. This time we mixed some cream cheese and cheese in with the chicken and the red salsa. And we're gonna wrap it in a flour tortilla and a corn tortilla and put it in our air fryer. So we just got them out of the fryer. They're nice and crunchy, seven minutes in the fryer. They look great. And here is our final plate. A little cheese on it. A little cheese, cilantro, tomatoes. Avocado, yummy.